Now before we start, what I would suggest you do is copy down the diagram that you're given and we need to fill in forces and accelerations acting on both the particles A and B. Now we're told that first of all both particles accelerate with an acceleration of 4 ninths g meters per second so I'd put an acceleration arrow on A that would be 4 ninths g meters per second per second and because the string is inextensible you often ask that by the way how does that affect uh, the accelerations they're going to be exactly the same purely because it's an inextensible string it doesn't stretch as soon as one moves the other will move as well immediately at the same rate okay so we've marked the accelerations in let's have a look at the forces now acting on each particle we'll take B we've got the weight downwards so that's going to be 2G I should say 2M times the G and that be Newtons we've got tension acting upwards we'll call that T Newtons now they're the only forces acting on B now we'll go to A we've got the weight acting downwards so mark that in as MG MG Newtons we've got the reaction from the surface R Newtons we've got a tension pulling this forward so mark that in now the tensions in fact are exactly the same and why are they the same well because we're told that this is a smooth pulley okay it it will always be a smooth pulley at this level and uh, these tensions will always be the same we've also got friction because this is a rough surface always opposes motion so if A moves to the right then friction must act to the left and because it's sliding across the surface it's reached its limiting value which would be mu r so I'm going to write that in there as mu r newtons okay so they're all the forces acting on A they're all the forces acting on B I think we're ready to go now so what we've got to do is find the tension in the string and the best place to do that is by considering particle B so to do that I'm just going to say consider B okay it helps the examiner know where we're coming from so if we say consider B what, what I'm going to do is resolve in the direction of motion and that would be downwards okay always a good idea resolve in the direction of motion so if we do that positive is downwards we've got 2mg acting downwards 2mg then we've got the tension T acting upwards that's so going to be minus T and this is the overall force downwards and it equals the mass times the acceleration the mass is 2m and the acceleration is 4 ninths g. So I put that in and we just need to rearrange this for t. So if I add t to both sides and subtract this term here which is 8 ninths mg what I've got is that 2 mg minus 8 ninths mg is going to equal that tension t. So if I bring T to the left hand side you've got 2 mg minus 8 ninths mg if you did 2 take away 8 ninths you're going to get 10 ninths so we've got 10 ninths mg and I would leave G in okay since everything in the question is left with G in. So we've got the tension is 10 ninths mg and don't forget the units newtons. Okay well that brings us now to the end of the first part of this question.